Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off of my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter series of videos I've been doing for a little while now. Where I go over there, I try out food and drink items, and I, you know, usually they're weird or new or unique in some way, so that hopefully I'm trying them out so that you can go over there and get whatever knowledge base you can out of this whole situation. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, a little bit uh, extra light right now. So, you know, just go with me on it. I, it's nothing, I, I can't, despite my ardent attempts to thwart the sun, it will not relent. Maybe one day, one day I will, I will have tamed the sun to my will, but not at the moment. Anyway, folks, that aside, so what am I trying for y'all today? Well, folks, we're getting a little bit fancy here. Oh, yeah. As highlighted by my Altered Beast shirt. I mean, it's a great shirt. I, it's Altered Beast, man. Come on, who does? <clears throat> if you're around my age, I'm 34th time I'm doing this. I don't like reminding myself of that, but sure. And to be fair, you never know it. Oh, and I don't mean that as a compliment to myself. But anyway, uh, yeah, Altered Beast, uh, great, it, good, iconic uh, Sega Genesis game. It was the original Genesis packing game before Sonic the Hedgehog. Sega of America was the one who made that change. There you go, folks. So this is an awesome shirt. Highly recommend it. I think I got it off Tee Public. But, uh, literally, if you're interested, I don't know why you would be, but if you are, just Google, um, uh, Altered Beast t-shirt, and it'll be one of the designs that comes up, so. It's nifty! But anyway, with the previously alluded to fanciness, so what am I trying for y'all today, folks, that's oh so fancy, oh so fine? It's Bang Champagne! Oh yeah, that kinda rhymes. Yeah, folks, uh, it is Bang, which if you're not familiar with, it's an energy drink brand. It's been around for a little bit now. I believe, though I could be wrong, I want to say maybe my cousin told me this, or maybe it's just bullshit my brain made up. I think this was actually, like, available um, more in, like, gyms and type places and stuff like that, like, before it kind of hit the bigger market. But I could be completely wrong. For me, I know personally... It started showing up a few years ago, and then, like, before long, they had 800 gajillion flavors. And I think that's awesome. So, Bang is not my favorite energy drink, but I do enjoy their existence. And I do love the fact that they just have wacky-ass flavors like fucking champagne. So, um, yeah, I'd heard about this one, and I, I still, to this day, I can't find it. I mean, it's right here, so you think. Clearly you found it, Brandon, but I didn't. Uh, my coworker Joe, who I don't believe watches these videos or even knows that they exist, but if for somehow he does become aware, thank you, Joe. You're a good dude. I like you a lot. Um, but he actually found this, and uh, I was talking with him about it, and he's like, I'll grab one the next time I see one. So thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I figured I had to do this. And to be honest, this isn't the first bang that I've, like, considered doing. The thing is, usually, when bang comes out with, like, a new flavor or something like that, I'll buy it, put it in my fridge with the intention of doing a video on it, but then I'll wake up, like, you know, for work or something or whatever, and I'll be like, okay, I'm sorry, I had a hamster over there. Hello, adorable hamster daughter. She's albino. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll end up just, you know, taking it to work or whatever. So this one I specifically hung on to, though, because it's champagne. Come on, man. Um, and I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll even do the little sales pitch thing on the end. Bang. P or potent brain and body fuel by the makers of the legendary Redline Energy products. Which, <laughs> I actually bought a bunch of those, too. Again, with the intention of doing, uh, videos on... I think maybe I have one left. That's me being nice, so probably none. Make no mistake, Bang is not your stereotypical high-sugar, life-sucking soda masquerading as an energy drink. I wish 
so badly that more energy drinks actually tasted like soda. <sighs> but anyway, high sugar drinks spike blood sugar, producing metabolic mayhem, causing you to crash harder than a test dummy into a brick wall. Timely reference. Although I guess they still they still probably do test dummies, right? Yeah, I would. Or is it all computer simulations? Yeah, it's robots. Power up with bangs, potent and bring body rocking fuel, super creatine, caffeine. Life is an extreme sport and bang is the extreme energy source to live life extreme. With the X's, by the way. Extreme. Three times. Sure, why the hell not? So, I was going to do this all super fancy. Um, and uh, use like a champagne glass to go over there and you know champagne. I don't have a champagne glass. I'm not a champagne type of guy. So, you're getting my next best thing. What's my next best thing? Boom! Rum chata glass. I'm not exactly a rum chata guy either, but I do enjoy rum chata occasionally. And uh, I bought uh, a bottle of the stuff that came with a, a pair of glasses uh, that was meant to be used for a special occasion. Didn't end up being the case, but I hung on to the glasses. So... This is what we're using today. Because we're going to... This is about a, as fancy as Brandon Wenzel gets. Do the tappy thing. Oh, please open. Ow, damn it. I... <laughs> I bite my nails, so... It's, uh, it's a little bit of a thing for me to do that. We're going to pour it in for you, folks. It's going to be a thing! Ooh. Ooh. All bubbly. We'll do about that much. I mean, it should be more than sufficient. Also, it should be mentioned, the perfect drink, <clears throat> considering that once I get through with this series of videos, I'm intending to go to sleep because uh, I work at night. But uh, to be entirely honest with you folks, I've been drinking so much caffeine and stuff since I was a, a tiny lad. Uh, yeah, this stuff really doesn't do much for me at this point, but let, let's, let's waft the bouquet <clears throat> as I go over there and uh, clear out my throat. Really get the old nose up in there. I mean... Does it smell like champagne? No. I, not any champagne I've ever had. To be fair, I'm by no means a champagne connoisseur. I don't know what the hell that accent was supposed to be at the end there. And it's a little bit... I would have... What with it being, you know, again, champagne? I mean, obviously it's carbonated. I would have liked if they would have gone over there and maybe added a little extra carbonation. Make it a little bubbly. Salut. And then we'll do it with the pinky and such. I don't really think you do that so much for... Well, do you for... I fucking... Why am I hypothesizing about fancy situations that I A, would never be in, and B, am not currently in because I'm drinking a fucking energy drink out of a rum chata glass while wearing a uh, altered B shirt with Peter Cannon Thunderbolt poster and crappy old ladder. I didn't forget about him, folks. Okay. Or should I go over there and swish it and spit it back in? It's like wine tasting, though. I don't think it works the same way for champagne. Okay, um... I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't know if in calling it champagne, they're like trying to actually have a taste like champagne, uh, per se, or if it's more just like, you know, just like, let's just give it a 
fancy name that dumb white guys will go over there and drink on the internet. Um, like I said, I mean, it's, it's probably been about two years since I've had champagne. I think it was like uh, one of the New Year's is, um, I bought some, but... Yeah, I mean, the problem is without, <laughs> without like the fizz and the alcohol, if it is supposed to taste like champagne, you're missing the beginning and the end. <laughs> so it's hot, it's really hard for me to say. Um, it's not bad. It, it tastes pretty good. Uh, we're just going to go from the can this time. We're all illusions been dropped. Hmm. I mean, I guess if I were, like, truly fancy about this whole thing, I'd be talking about, like, notes of aged balsamic cheddar, you know, and with from the vineyards of southern Uzbekistan. Again, I think that's wine stuff more. Um, man, trying to describe the flavor, it's difficult. Um, like I said, it's not a bad flavor. Um, it's fairly, it's not super sweet, but it's sweet. Um, It has, it has a little bit of a roughness to it going down. Um, like, it's not the smoothest of drinks, but I don't mean that in a negative way. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I... if. You know, if it didn't have the, the champagne moniker, I would probably just assume that it's like a kind of somewhat fancy, generic tasting energy drink. Like, energy drink kind of has its own flavor. And if you've had enough energy drinks, you know what I'm talking about. Especially the generic ones. Like, they are clearly all made at the same factory and just put into different cans. Um, this tastes a little bit like that, sort of, except better. Uh, it doesn't have any, like, gnarly, sort of, chemically taste that those usually do. Um, it has, like, a little bit of that sort of energy drink after kick, which I personally don't find to be overly pleasant. Uh, but it's, it's pretty mild, like, it kind of only hits at the end. And I mean, the overall taste, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's really hard to place. Like, I, I guess maybe it tastes like champagne, but I, again, that's not, definitely not where my brain goes. But again, I'm not like a huge champagne guy. Uh, as a drinking experience, as an energy drink, because I am definitely an energy drink guy, that's more what I'm going to draw off of. Um, it's a decent energy drink. It's not... It's not one that I personally would go for again. Uh, like, as an actual preference. I have a few that, you know, are kind of the, the ones that I tend to go for. Though usually, throughout the course of, excuse me, my year, most energy drinks that I have are just, well, no, that's not true. Because I do have the Starbucks double shot uh, energy drinks. I get those at work uh, with a reasonable amount of uh, occasion. But other than that, probably the m most of the energy drinks that I have are just like new or weird ones uh, that I just want to try.
this I would not add to my roster of uh, of usuals. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's inoffensive, bordering on good. But the problem for me is that, again, with the exception of the name, for me there's nothing really standout-ish about it. Um, you know, it's just an okay tasting energy drink. And that's kind of disappointing because Bang actually does have some very solid flavors. Uh, I actually really like their, uh, and I might even do a video on them, uh, they have a, a series of teas, energy teas. It's like George Peach, Iced Tea, and then like one other one. Um, though obviously I've already tried those, so uh, does it matter at this point? Mm. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. It's just kind of, it's okay, but it's honestly just kind of unremarkable. So, yeah. Like I said, it's not bad. It doesn't leave a bad aftertaste. It doesn't taste chemically. Um, it's just, it's not bland or anything. It's just, it's there and then it's gone for me personally. Uh, it's, it's just, it's genuinely very unremarkable, which is kind of a shame because I was, you know, hoping for something interesting out of this and it's just kind of okay. Like I said, I think if maybe if they had added in a little bit more carbonation, uh, maybe if they gave it a little bit more bite, something to kind of make it stand out. Because again, if it is supposed to be like champagne flavored, um, Oh, man, you know, just at least for me, and I would imagine for most people, because I don't think champagne is something that most people just drink for the hell of it. It's usually an occasion thing. So, <laughs> I'm sure there's people who would know way better than I would, you know, if this comes close to being a champagne flavor. Like I said, maybe a little bit, but I, I'm not really... Anyway, would I recommend it? Um, no, it's not bad. Like I said, it, if you want to try it, like just out of sheer interest, by all means, it isn't bad. I don't know how much it costs because my, like I said, my coworker bought it for me. Um, you know, so yeah, feel free to give it a shot. Um, uh, but do I think it'll, you know, it, first of all, you shouldn't be drinking fucking energy drinks anyway. They're terrible for you. I'm sure regardless of what Bang says. But, even outside of that, I, for me, I, like I said, I just find it to be pretty meh. So, I I waste, I have to clean this glass now. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for, uh, for my review. Ran a little long with the whole fanciness and stuff. Anyway, if you do five things for me uh, before I get out of here, have yourself a spectacular rest of your day, stupendous rest of your week, phenomenal rest of your month, monumentous rest of your year, and if you could go over there and have yourself a champagne-tastic, but like actual champ, like fancy champagne, like all fancy, rest of your life, that would be fantastic. Two more things, folks, that I'm done. My brain just kind of scattered for a second there, so it can't kick back around. Um... Two more things, folks. Good. <clears throat> Try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is always appreciated, though. I promise, even if it doesn't feel like it. If you can't do that, sometimes you can't. I know I can't do it all the time. Try not to be an asshole. You know, I think so. I think that's usually doable. Not all the time, though. You know, say, hey, man, there's you're going to be over there. You'll be like, hey, Brandon, I saw you out in the world one time, and you were being a dickbag. I mean, it could have been another chubby you know, let, let's dump fat. <laughs> let's let's get rid of the chubby moniker. Um, <laughs> could have been another fat white guy with, you know, thinning long hair and a beard that's not that great who wears video game shirts and uh, camo shorts all the time. Could be. But anyway, final thing, folks. I want you to do the thing for me. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to do. I want you to go out... Just kick, you know, just kick all the ass, man. You're going to go, 
maybe you're gonna go where you're gonna you're gonna have yourself. You're gonna come up with a new energy drink. And it's gonna you know it's gonna actually taste like champagne. It's gonna be bubbly and delicious, and then people are gonna go over there and they're gonna stop drinking real champagne. You're gonna just use that stuff. And then you go over there and you make all the billions and billions of dollars. But then it goes to your head, and you know you end up like buying an island, and you know there's a whole like genetic experiment things going on, like Doctor Moreau thing. It's not good times, but but it's fine for a little while. Start with the good stuff, and then we'll see where the monsters come in. You might get to meet Val Kilmer. Just saying. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me. Uh, have yourselves a fantastic rest of whatever the hell you're doing when you're watching this video. Oh! Bye.